Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sage. Uh, welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I apologize in advance. A lot of things have actually gotten done off camera and it was the unfortunate circumstance of um, I'm not getting this relive thing down 100%. Um, I probably got about 20 to 30 minutes worth of video um, and in that time, um, when I actually I encountered a reef back, my uh, my game crashed for some reason and it blacked out the entire footage. I mean, I got zero percent of it. The you can hear my voice, you, you know that's great and all, but there is no gameplay whatsoever it's just straight black and I haven't been able to figure out what's going on with that video um, either I'm gonna try to keep it to see if I can salvage any of it um, see if maybe it'll pop back on what whatever the deal is I'll just leave it alone for a bit but I'm gonna try my best to figure out what's going on um, but in the meantime, I have picked up a few new things. Now, I have picked up all the requirements for uh, the Seamoth and now the battery charger. Um, but I do not have the mobile vehicle bay yet, so that's kind of a moot point for the Seamoth. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's actually over in this area. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%, but I'm I'm pretty sure that it's over here. Um, I, I've got the bioreactor, which is really cool too. Um, I think the mobile vehicle bay is over here. If not, you know, I'm just gonna do a little bit more exploring to kind of seconds. figure that out. But um, as far as everything else goes, you know, I am. I really am sorry that the footage is kind of here and there. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on. Um, I've been browsing a few of the forums in regards to like, issues with Live, and you know I was updating some drivers and doing some things like that. So. Um, my assumption is that there's something in Subnautica that just keeps crashing, um, that just keeps interacting with the drivers really weird for, uh, for Relive, and I think that's what keeps crashing it out. Um, if that ends up being the case, then I'll swap over to using OBS, uh, for as much as I can, but, um, OBS is really hard on my PC for some reason. Um, and it might, it might honestly degrade the, the video itself, um, and I really don't want to do that, because that's, that, you know, kind of defeats the purpose, um, but I'm going to do my best, I'm going to try to figure out this problem, and hopefully there's no more interruptions as far as things go, um, in the future. Now... As far as this, uh, as far as this episode goes, um, I'm actually trying to find the mobile vehicle base so I can get the sea moth, and then I'm gonna venture over to the Aurora. I'm not, I, I don't think I'd be any more equipped to do it, um, no matter how long I put it off. I don't think I'll be any more or less equipped to do it. Um, ow, shit. Um, ow, ow, freaking tiger plants, Jesus, ah, okay, let me go. Okay, um, yeah, that, okay, mm -hmm. It's like... The sea moth, yeah, so you guys will see, uh, I just got two titanium from the sea moth fragment, you know, nothing crazy. Um, I just, I really don't know where the mobile vehicle bay is. Um, uh, okay. I don't, I really don't know where it is. I think it's down in this area. I mean, it would make, it would probably make sense that the mobile vehicle bay and the Cyclops, uh, I mean the, uh, Seamoth fragments would be together. At least that's what I think. And I'm pretty sure I remember that from watching a few other, um, 
Let's Plays of Subnautica, but I could be wrong. Uh, if I am, please just let me know. Uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to find it regardless Oxygen. and see uh, see if I can find this. Also, I know that people have probably said it before, but God, uh, that is that is absolutely beautiful. I wonder. I mean, obviously, it's not you know our solar system. That is very clearly our moon, but. Uh, <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this, the game seems to just, as like, I played it more. Oh, I'm much closer to that island. I might venture over there because I need to get some diamond anyway. Um, but my inventory is full, so let's actually head back. Um, it seems like the longer I play this game, the more things actually uh, come about. Um, and it sounds weird to say, but it seems like uh, the more time I spend in here, the more time. Um, it's another Sinon fragment. Um, it seems like the more things actually pop up. So I have been playing roughly, I guess, in between the crashes. Um, I've probably been playing for. A grand total of around three to four hours, maybe. Um, I'd say probably around three would be my best bet. Um, my best assumption, I guess. Um, and with that in mind, I don't really, I, I don't think I've gotten that far, considering. Um, I don't know if this game just has a very steep learning curve, or if it's just really, like, it's just rough to get started in, regardless of, you know, whichever is the case. Uh, I'm still going to do my best to, you know, bring you guys content, something to come back to. Um, I'm getting messages like mad, and I keep, you know... This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam, Aurora. Oh, the Sunbeam. Over. Oh, wow, I've really gotten... Okay. Still nothing. Um, These old Terra ships. They run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a Welcome week to reach Captain. your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's gonna have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Fabricator, a computer chip and a wiring kit. Let's see. Let's see if I have enough of that. I think I have enough. I think I have a wiring kit in storage. Let's see what a computer chip takes. Electronics, computer chip, table coral sample, and copper wire. I just need more copper, and I'm pretty sure I have that over there as well. So let's see. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, wiring kit. I think I should be good. I think common coral sample was the one I needed. I'll take one of each, because I don't remember. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, do I have any? Yep. Cook this peeper really quick. Let's. Alright, that brings me a little more stable. Um, computer chip. Oh, I need table coral sample. Okay. So, table coral. Honestly, I landed in a really good place, because everything is right here. But god, this, these things use power like there is no tomorrow. Holy god. Computer chip. 
Okay. So let's go back to here. Let's do a fabricator right along. Sure, why not? Let's just put it here. And then let's go outside and build a few more of these. Care about the sign, and quartz. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have some, right? No, no quartz. Uh, really, no quartz. <sighs> okay, let's go back out there. I'll put the titanium ingot in there. Sure, let's store that. Just keep all this titanium on there. Um, and let's go back looking out for quartz. That seems to be one resource that does not respawn very frequently. Uh, yeah, the quartz doesn't seem to respawn as frequently as some of uh, as some of the others. And it seems like I guess maybe unless I revert to save uh, or like I close and reopen I don't know if those uh, crash fish literally are just supposed to give samples one time or if it's supposed to respawn with them I don't know um, but I guess I'll check that out the next time I'm in there I guess I was just looking in the wrong place to the world. I, I don't know what is making those crazy, crazy noises, but in all honesty, that's, that's just scary as fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. It's just really creepy. Um, I might as well pick up some more acid mushrooms and go on the hunt for some more copper. It seems like it's all just things that you, uh, there's all just a bunch of really essential things that you need for many different, um, many different items, and then there's just some things that you need, like, one of for one item and you're good. At least in the beginning of the game stuff, it seems that way. Um, alright, cool. So let's go back in here. Um, put this bad boy up here. I know I think these give about uh, 250 power a piece. So I'm just going to keep them on up here. Um, Bioreactor lubricant. I can make lubricant. I have the stuff for it. Computer chip, copper wire, and more glass. Jeez. Oh, uh, lithium. I don't know where to get lithium. Um, I think it's, I think it's much lower. Um, I, I think I, if I recall, it's, um, in some of the cave systems later on, but I don't remember exactly where it is right now. I guess we'll figure that out, um, and I'll try to find some a little bit later. I might actually just look that one up because I don't want to just like blindly keep going through the entire game. Uh, it doesn't seem very productive. Mobile vehicle bay. I still need the rest of those parts. Um, I don't know what I was about to build. Oh, the bioreactor. Do I have, where's the, like, general multi-purpose room? Do I have to find that or something? Because it doesn't seem like 
It doesn't seem like that exists. Uh, it just seems really weird to me. Um, I guess T-shaped compartment. Be good if it's right here. So does will these connect? It, it seriously won't connect. Can I just? Bioreactor. What did, what did I need? Titanium. Ooh. I guess I used too much. Don't tell me I have no more. Okay. I was about to say. I was like, don't tell me I have no more titanium after that. Power cell. I still need to make that battery charger. Let's put this. Where in the absolute. Hell, do you get that? Okay. I'm pretty sure that there is a room that I am missing because that uh, doesn't seem like I have everything that I should. Um, at some point, I'll actually go in here and... Um, computer chip, copper wire, glass. Okay, let's see. At some point, I'll actually, um, I'll actually go through and I will, um, I'll look up where I'm supposed to get certain things so that I'm not just like round robining it for the majority of time. But uh, I'm gonna do my best for what I have right now. Okay, copper wire table coral sample which I have in here okay computer chip and then glass I should have enough glass and computer chip okay awesome so let's put the copper wire I just I thought I just made copper wire oh man and now I don't have copper wire exciting Square that in. Boom. And then I have this dead battery in here, right? Yeah. Alright, so I got this dead battery in here. Let's put this in there. I'm going to put away all the rest of my stuff um, for right now. Let's see. Um. So I've got a whole bunch of gold, lubricants, uh, acid mushrooms. I should probably take a battery for the, the road. Um, let me save really quick. Okay. Um, I think I have no more pieces of copper to make a battery, right? So I'm sure I need copper for that. Copper ore and acid mushrooms. Exciting. Okay. Acid mushrooms, not really a big deal. I'll just go pluck another one. I'll just pluck a few. And then let me go crack open some more deposits. Oh, 
Jeez, those lag spikes in there. This is cave sulfur that is just sitting here, but okay, I'll take it. fish go for these outcroppings still I don't know did I harvest them all from this area already I mean I guess it's a possibility this cave seems really big to have already harvested everything from it but I guess you never know oh jeez that these animals make is incredible. surface really quick. Okay. I'm getting some random spikes here and there. Um, when my game freezes up, so probably after this I think I'm going to call it for the night. Um, at least with Subnautica. Subnautica takes a huge toll on my GPU. And uh, between that and running Relive, which runs almost exclusively on the GPU, um, I'm probably burning my poor card into the floor, and I really don't want to do that. Um, so I might just take a bit of a break. Some titanium, Jesus, no, I'm friggin', where's the copper? I couldn't find any. Okay, well, there's one. But I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any gold. Now that I, now that I don't need it, now I find it. Silver. Silver. Jeez. It is infested with Karar. I didn't know that it had spread this quickly before. I don't know if that's um, as they've gotten more of the game. Oh, jeez. Jesus, get, get out of my face. I don't know how I got out of there without taking any damage. Um, but I think... I don't know if it's just... You know, if it's just... Ow, ow, ow. I just went to freaking scratch my nose and I get attacked by a stalker. How nice. Um... Jeez, he took like 30% of my health. Holy god. Um, 30 seconds. I don't know if it's that since they have done, like, since they've made a lot more progress in the game, that now things start off and they advance more quickly than before. 
Um, I, I remember, I, I don't remember watching videos and seeing everyone mess with the garage so early, but it seems like there's a significant, there's a significant amount of these guys with the Karar already, and that's, I don't know, um, I don't know if it's that the game is trying to advance it quicker, um, I don't know how long it actually takes for your level of the Karar to become life-threatening, um, I don't know if you guys saw it, uh, on, on stream or not, but, um, I scanned myself and I'm already, you know, infected and the whole nine, um, so I don't know, what is that, oh, what the hell is a holefish? Oh, have I not scanned peepers? Oh, I guess not. Cool. Um, I guess that's cool. Those things that you haven't scanned shows up in the bottom right corner. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they, uh, how advanced the game is. How, um, how quickly you're supposed to solve your problem and kind of fix everything and and get out of here. I don't know if it's you know meant to be. Um, I don't know if the game itself has that vibe where I have, like, I feel like this, you know, strong urge to go and do this, because I'll be honest, I really don't. Um, there's nothing really about this game that gives me any sense of, uh, urgency or immediacy to solve any things. So, I don't know, honestly. Um... I guess I'm, I guess we'll just figure it out um, as we go along. Okay, that is the battery charger. Also, I'm having a terrible time with finding like a plethora of the things that I've already scanned. Um, and then for the things that I don't have, it seems like finding a new, uh, finding new blueprints is, um, oh yeah, and this is also something I know that wasn't on screen. I got, uh, like, I think it was some hyper dive fins or something like that. Um, but... I don't know, it's weird, like, I can, I seem to be able to get a, uh, a huge amount of things that I already have, but as far as new stuff goes, it don't seem to be able to find, um, have an abundance of finding these new things, I don't seem to have that look, so I don't know if it's just that the area that I'm in doesn't have a lot of, um, the blueprints I'm looking for, I don't know if it wants to force me to go deep um, before, you know, in order to get heavily rewarded. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure, you know, or at least I know that I don't really want to have to go deep unless, you know, I am 100% sure that I'm not going to get just totally wrecked by doing so. So I'm trying to just get the mobile vehicle bay. Um, I, I promise I'm actually going to look up where the stuff is so that it, you know I'm not just swimming around looking looking for it you know amidst all this junk um battery oh, I already have that I keep useless scanning uh, this sea moth I already have the sea moth but I'll gladly just turn it into copper for the sake of turning it into copper um, I don't know if I've been in this direction before, but I could swear that with open waters like this, I'm probably going to get wrecked by a reaper or something along those lines. Caution. Mild dehydration detected. Um, especially recommended. since I'm near the island. Um, I think I have water on me, right? What the... 
fuck was that? Oh, it was just a stalker. You know what? I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna head back. Um, I was gonna go through this first, but I feel like... With my luck, I'll probably get to the island, get wrecked by a reaper, and just lose all the progress that I've already made. Um, and I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. Um, and then what I guess I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to go look for uh, this mobile vehicle bay. I, I'm sorry I didn't get much done in this episode. It's just been a lot of exploring and things like that. Um... I might do a little bit more of like off-screen grinding to just build up some, you know, food and other things like that so that I'm not, you know, out in the ocean dying here like I currently am. Um, I might just do that and then um, by the next time that you see me I'll have, um, I should have the mobile vehicle bay already or I know where it is so that I can just go and grab it. Um, and then set up a Seamoth and make my first trip either over to the island or over to uh, the Aurora, depending on which, you know, which would be better for me to do first. Um, but Welcome I think, aboard, Captain. I think uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to call it for here. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, coming and hanging out with me. If you like the video, just uh, leave me a like, comment, and we'll... Uh, Kind of go from there. Catch you guys next time.